It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you But then we are apart, I feel it too So the Geodome I'm going to is in Williams, Arizona, near the Grand Canyon. It's about three hours away from Phoenix. You see tons of cactus, tons of mountains within this drive. It wasn't too bad overall until you actually get close to the property when it starts to get a little bumpy. This is Fast and Furious Grand Canyon edition. Vin Diesel called me. I'm here for you. Family is everything. I think that's the quote. Loyalty is every, I don't know. Let me know the comments what the quote is, I forgot it. Now they did warn me ahead of time that the roads were pretty bad, that's why I rented this Jeep for it. It's about two or three miles that are pretty treacherous when you're getting there, but you can make it. What's up everyone, it's Garrett from Nice Flip and Choice in the middle of nowhere, AKA Williams, Arizona. We're not too far from the Grand Canyon, I believe. And it's pretty cold out here, so don't mind my mismatch attire because I had to just throw on what I had. We are at a geodome site out here that I'm coming to check out to give you all a review on and see what I think of myself. So let's talk about it. So they have a pretty cool little setup in here. As you can see, it's a little, little messy because we've already been staying in here. They have a nice queen size bed. They do have a heater that is powered by propane. It is definitely not the, uh, it is the little engine that could because it definitely, definitely gets cold out here at night. We were warned about that. It wasn't terrible but it definitely gets cold out here at night. I will say that. Um, they provide different water things. They do have this skylight over the top of it, which is pretty cool, but you couldn't really see as many stars out of it as you would have thought. So this is the big bay window that makes Geodome so popular. They do have some pretty cool curtains, which I was kind of curious how they put them on there myself. I don't know if this is about a five meter dome, probably about 20 feet wide, 200 square feet, something like that. They do have solar power. If you're looking to charge your phones, I don't know if the fridge worked while we were actually here, but we didn't barely even used it because it was, we were only here for one night, just checking it out. I do have a lot of lamps around that do help, but lighting is kind of scarce in here. I will say that. Telescope was a cool touch, even though we didn't use it. If it wouldn't have been so cold, we probably would have. So how do you use the toilet out here or the shower? Well, you, you can't use the shower because it's cold, but I will show you the toilet situation they have. Let's go. Still going. Most of it's ran off this propane tank over here, a lot of the heat in the place, which is a pretty cool idea. They do have more domes over there, and they do have quite a bit of solar kind of going on. They have some different solar panels behind ours as well. But here is your lovely sink. Oh, I thought it was gonna pull out. Nope, that's what she said. So here my audio stopped working, so I'll just continue with the voiceover from here. This is their compost toilet that is out there that they have solar lights and string lights all around that kind of keep it lit up. It didn't smell or anything like that in there, and it, you know, it wasn't too bad to use. Definitely not anything super glamorous, like real glamping in my opinion, but they have a big water tank in the back that supplies a lot of water for the shower and for the sink and other areas that are out there, and they have a solar panel that also powers it as well. They have a seating area with a little barbecue pit and other things, but it was just too cold to even enjoy that. This is Williams, Arizona. Not bad overall. I will leave a link into it in the description. Let me know what y'all think in the comments if you'd ever want to stay here. I'll probably come back when it's like March and it feels a little better out here. And I'd be able to do much more things. I can roam the plains and wide open spaces. But yeah, until next time, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see y'all in the next one.